International Equestrian Federation states that the object of dressage is the development of the horse into a happy athlete. But is there really a biomechanical difference between a happy and an unhappy athlete of any species? We did a study to seek an answer to this question. The happy state was induced by the feeding of a treat. The unhappy state was induced by the presence of a running hose and some toenail clippers. First, we will see the happy athlete. Notice the free forward movement and ground covering strides. You can also observe the correct parallel association between the cannon of the hind leg and the forearm of the front leg, indicating that indeed he is moving properly through his back. This happy athlete naturally shows great freedom in his shoulder, lightness of the front end, and the attentiveness that is so sought after. In slow motion, you can also note the pendulous tail action, as well as the cadence and schwung. Another characteristic of the happy athlete is his clear, natural desire to carry weight on his hindquarters. The unhappy athlete, by comparison, shows distinct lack of freedom in his movement as well as lack of focus. He is tense, and although he may lower his hindquarters and appear to sit behind, it is a false engagement. His true desire is to be on the forehand with no forward energy. In fact, this is the only gait we could get this unhappy athlete to do. Here again is the false engagement position, not to be confused with true carrying of weight on the hindquarters. In conclusion, the happy athlete moves freely with cadence and schwung. The unhappy athlete is tense with no schwung. The happy athlete is free in the shoulder and uphill. The unhappy athlete prefers to be on the forehand and gives only a false engagement. <laughs>